Aloha, it's Kiana Kayab Yab, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Long Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long Drugs for all your shopping needs. Football fans, the 2024 Football Fever Contest is here. Pick up a copy of the Star Advertiser and submit your picks by Friday to meet or beat the score of the winning panelist each week. Play each week for a chance to win $500. At the end of the season, one lucky grand prize winner will win a trip for two anywhere Alaska Airlines flies. Special thanks to our Football Fever sponsors, Hawaiian Telecom, Long's Drugs, and Alaska Airlines. Don't miss out on the action. Join the Football Fever Contest Weekly for your chance to win. Hawaii's $30 million student loan repayment program for healthcare workers is helping professionals like Maui nurse Luke Batoon stay in work locally. The program called HELP covers up to $100,000 in loan repayment over two years, reducing financial burdens and encouraging retention in the islands. After receiving assistance, Batoon says he's committed to staying, focusing on family and community care. Governor Josh Green plans to request an additional $30 million in the next legislative session to expand the program and address Hawaii's health care worker shortage. In Nanakuli, a tragic incident occurred Sunday morning at a Wendy's restaurant where a patron fatally stabbed a 22-year-old employee and injured a 44-year-old co-worker. Honolulu police say the confrontation started after the suspect, a 60-year-old man, was asked by the employee to stop moving furniture. The argument escalated outside, resulting in the suspect stabbing both workers. The younger employee died from his injuries while the older employee was treated and released. The suspect was arrested and faces multiple charges, including murder and attempted murder. The Department of Hawaiian Homelands is using a unique regulatory power to speed up housing development for beneficiaries. On September 30, DHHL issued itself a building permit to renovate an 18-unit building in Kalailoa, formerly used for Navy housing, into transitional housing for homeless, waitlisted beneficiaries. This $6.3 million project funded by the federal government represents DHHL's first in-house building permit approval. Director Kali Watson says this new approach will bypass county permit delays, advancing over 20 homestead projects and helping move beneficiaries into homes faster. Renovations are expected to be completed by late 2025. As Japanese travelers look to go abroad again, Hawaii remains the top dream destination, despite challenges like a weak yen and reports of rising costs. According to Japan's tourism office, Hawaii has held the number one spot for Japanese tourists for 16 years straight. But while some are deterred by higher expenses, others like longtime traveler Hiroyuki Furukawa says it's still possible to enjoy Hawaii on a budget. Hawaii is especially popular with older travelers, and Japanese travel agencies are hopeful that more will return as international travel rebounds post-pandemic. The University of Hawaii Cancer Center has renewed its prestigious National Cancer Institute designation, securing $11 million in federal funding over the next five years. This renewal recognizes UH Cancer Center's exceptional work in cancer research, prevention, and treatment especially for Hawaii's underrepresented communities. Director Dr. Naoto Ueno says this milestone supports plans to expand clinical trials, including the upcoming Ho'ola Research Center, set to open in 2025. This center will provide local access to groundbreaking phase one clinical trials, eliminating the need for costly trips to the mainland for advanced cancer care. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.